today we're Christmas shopping, and I'm gonna meet Father Christmas. Santa. What's the difference? Santa's way cooler. Why? Father Christmas is an old guy who likes biscuits. Santa <laughs> has an American accent and drinks cola out of a bottle. Yeah, baby. I thought they were the same person. Of course they are, Cam. Father Christmas has just been around for such a long time, he's collected a few different names. Doesn't he get confused? Not really. Lots of people are called different things by different people. You're Cam to us, but I bet your teachers call you Camberwell. That's different. Well, Daddy wasn't called Daddy until you came along. Don't be silly. Daddy's always been Daddy. <laughs> it, it might seem like that, but just because you didn't see something doesn't mean it didn't happen. You have to use your imagination, Cam. Hmm. I imagine Daddy was smaller in the olden days. And wore a hat! Oh, hey, you're not far wrong. You know, once upon a time, I was quite a catch. A kind of super fly guy. Stop it, Dad. Someone might put this on YouTube. Okay, my peeps. I'm off to check out the queue at the grotto. Peace out. <laughs> What's a grotto? A grotto is a magical little hidey hole nestled deep in the swirling snow of the North Pole where Father Christmas and his elves make children's wishes come true. Lapland. Pardon? Father Christmas lives in Lapland. Lapland, North Pole, same thing. No, they're not. Maybe they're the same place with different names. Lapland is part of Finland, and the North Pole is in the Arctic. Well, maybe he lives in the North Pole and his toy factory is in Lapland. Long commute. The point is, it's somewhere festive and snowy and cold. That's why we leave him a sherry to warm him up on Christmas Eve. Isn't sherry a grown-up drink? It is. Daddy said you can't drink grown-up drinks if you're going to drive. Don't sleighs count? I think Rudolph does most of the steering, so Father Christmas can hop out and take the presents down the chimneys. What if you don't have a chimney? He comes in the window. Like a burglar. <laughs> no, not like a burglar. Like the Tooth Fairy. So, if I lost a tooth on Christmas Eve, would the Tooth Fairy and Father Christmas both come to my room? Oh yeah, they bump into each other all the time. Right, the queue's a lot shorter now. Shall we, uh... So, he's an old man who doesn't know where his name is, isn't sure where he lives, and talks to fairies! <laughs> Sounds like Grandpa. <laughs> oh, good grief. You're not giving Santa a hard time now, are you? No wonder he has to keep a list. I'm making sure my name's on it. Checking it twice? Good idea. If he hasn't got proof of who I am and where I live, he might not believe I'm real.